this is Joe Avenanti of the Valley Library Consortium. In this section, we'll show you how to do alphabetical browse searching. Browse searching is an alphabetical search displaying browse lists of information. Once you key in a term, the system displays the browse list, placing you at the closest entry in spelling to the term you've entered. Alphabetical browse searches on author, subject, or series displays information from authority tables. An authority browse search gives you a list indicating the number of hits. When doing a browse search, order matters. Let's do an alphabetical search on author. So we'll go up and highlight author browse. And remember, last names are first. Let's do a search on Percy W. Blanford. Last name first, hit enter. We are now in an author browse list, and the arrow is next to the term closest to what we've entered. In this case, it's exactly what we've entered, Percy W. Blanford. I'm highlighting Percy to bring attention to the number of titles that are associated with Percy Blanford. To look at those titles, go down to the bottom and click on the button Show Titles or hit Enter. We have retrieved 30 of 32. When a keyword search results in a large number of hits, the system will only display the first 30. By clicking on the Resume button, the additional titles will be displayed. In this case, there are 32 now. And you can verify that by scrolling down to the bottom, and there are now 32 titles appearing. If there were more titles, the display progression would be as follows. The display initially is 30, then the second display would be 300, and after that, in increments of 300. To look at any one of the titles, highlight it, and go down to the bottom, click Show Detail, or hit Enter, and now we're at the bib level for that title. To look at the copies for that title, click on the button Show Copies, and now we're at the copy information for that title. As I mentioned, order matters when doing browse searches, so let's do that same search, Author Browse, but with the first name first instead of the last name first. So we'll do a search for under Percy W. Blanford. Remember it takes you to an alpha browse list beginning with the term closest associated with what you've typed in. In this case, because we typed in Percy first, now we're brought to Percy W. And there was no match. The closest in term is Walker, Percy Walker. Of course, that's not what we want. We want Percy W. Blanford. Let's say you know the last name of an author and not the first. So you could do an author browse search again under, for example, Blanford. Hit Enter or click on OK. And now the alpha browse list starts with Blanford, but Edmund, because we didn't have any more terms other than Blanford. If you go look down in the list, you'll see Percy Blanford is farther on down. Sometimes this comes in handy when you know a last name but not the first. Then you can scroll through the listing to find the appropriate author. Now let's do an alphabetical search or browse search on subject. Highlight the appropriate index, in this case Library of Congress subject browse, and the subject is woodwork. Hit enter, and the display returns woodwork with the arrow next to it and there are 355 titles associated with woodwork. To look at those titles, click on Show Titles. Again, Horizon displays 30. We have 355, so we'll hit the Resume button. That will bring up 300. And again, if we hit Resume again, it will bring up the next 300, in this case, the remaining 55. So we'll hit Resume, and now we have retrieved 355 of the 355 titles. Verify that by looking at the last title in the list. To look at any of these titles, just simply highlight it, click on Show Detail or hit OK, or hit Enter. This is the bib information for that title. To look at the copy information, click on Show Copies. There were 355 titles that had the subject woodwork. Alphabetical browse searches on title displays information from the bib. 
A title browse search has only one hit, and choosing a title takes you to that bib. Let's do a title search under the Woodworker's Bible. Go up and highlight the index title browse, and in the search for term area, we're going to enter the title. If the title begins with an article, such as A, N, or The, that article can be omitted from the search term. So we're not going to type in the word The. We're going to start with Woodworker's Bible. And click OK or hit Enter. Display brings us right back to an exact match of the Woodworker's Bible. Now there are other matches, but if this is the one you want, then highlight that and click on Show Detail. To look at the copy information, click on that. And there is the copy information. Bib, title. So let's do a title browse search under Bible Woodworkers. And this time the display shows the term closest to Bible Woodworkers is Bibleman Adventure. So there is no hit for that. Again, when you do a browse search, order matters. Let's illustrate that one more time. We'll do a title browse search under this title, Stories I Only Tell My Friends. And we can see we have a hit with Stories I Only Tell My Friends. And of course, there are others in, in addition. Let's repeat that search, only inverting two words. Stories only I tell my friends. In this case, the display shows no direct hit for those terms. The closest hit is stories, poems, and other writings. So again, whenever you do a browse search, order does matter. And that concludes this section on alphabetical browse searching.